Dr. Olagbaje David Victor, Olatero Olagbaje the Third, the Allah of our kingdom. It is with a very, very heavy heart, but a high sense of responsibility to this honorable house and gratitude to Almighty God that I rise to inform the right honorable speaker, the leadership, and honorable members of this house that the loyal chiefs of our kingdom have announced that His Imperial Majesty, of Bar Dr. Falagbade David Victor Latero Labegi III, CFR, has transited to join his ancestors. His Imperial Majesty, of Bar Dr. Falagbade David Victor Olatero Labegi III, Commander of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, was born to the royal family of Sao Latero Olagbegi II, KBE, on 22nd June 1941 in the ancient city of Owo, he is of the Elewokun ruling house in our kingdom. He attended government primary school Owo between 1947 and 1954, after which he attended the Made College Owo from 1955 to 1960. The promising disposition of the then young Victor encouraged his father, the very influential, highly celebrated and dignified Sao Latero Olagbegi II, to send him to England, where he studied at the Poole College, Poole, Dorset for its general certificate of education, ordinary and advanced levels, between 1964 and 1968. Obad Dr. Falagbade David Victor Olagbegi III, thereafter, studied law at a prestigious urban college of law and Grayson, London, where he obtained a Bachelor of Law degree. He returned to Nigeria to attend the Nigerian Law School for the mandatory one-year study and qualified as barista at law. He was called to the Nigerian bar as barista and solicitor of the Supreme Court of Nigeria in 1968. O.O., as he was fondly called by his students, launched into legal practice in 1969 at the chambers of Frederick, uh, uh, Chief Frederick R. A. Williams, SEN, a Tatian in the legal profession and doyen of the Nigerian bar. After six years of active legal service, his Imperial Majesty joined the Nigerian Law School as a lecturer in 1975, where he worked in retirement in 1999 as a reader and director of administration, secretary to Council of Legal Education. During his career as a tutor in the Nigerian Law School, he took time off for three years to serve as special advisor on legal matters to the then Vice President of Nigeria, His Excellency Chief Alex Ekweme. For a period of 20 years, he served at the Nigerian Law School, or by Dr. Falagbadi David Victor Later Olagbegi, taught a legion of lawyers who are today occupying eminent positions in the bar, the bench, and in politics, including the Right Honorable Speaker, <laughs> Right Honorable Yakubu Dogara, including myself, including uh, Honorable Abonta, even the leader of the House, Femi uh, Kwajabi Amila, Right Honorable Mogunu, these are as legions of his students. His Imperial Majesty was later honored as a life bencher of the body of ventures. Oba Falagbade Olater Olagbegi, the third, ascended the throne of his fathers as the Olaw of our kingdom on February 21, 1999, as a four-class Oba and paramount ruler. Like most great leaders, his ascendancy to the throne was not without challenges. As he was destined to rule, he was officially presented his staff of office by His Excellency Governor Lucia Gwangagu on 18 December 2003. Oba Falagbade Olater Olagbegi is survived by his wife, her Royal Majesty Uluru Yeyisa Olola De Olatero Olagbegi, a lawyer and law teacher at the Faculty of Law at the Kunlajaki University at Kumbaya Koko, and many children, including Princess Jumoke Adelabu, a chief magistrate with the Lagos State Judiciary. Amongst many honors, His Majesty was President of Osborne College Students Union, a representative of Grace Inn on the Council of Legal Education United Kingdom, General Secretary Nigerian Association of Law Teachers, President Students Christian Union, member Nigerian Bar Association, member of the Black Table of Chief R. Williams Chambers, member National Political Reform Congress 2005, member International Society for the Reform of Criminal Law, Chairman of the State Council of Obers, among others. His Imperial Majesty was also honored as the International Man of the Year 1997 by the International Biographical Centre, Cambridge, England, the institution which also honoured him as the Deputy Director for Africa in 2007. He was honoured as one of the international who is who 
of intellectuals in 1997 too. He served as the Chancellor of the University of Benin in 2004-2007, Chancellor of the University of Abuja 2007-2016, and Chancellor of the University of Jos 2016 till his transition. In recognition of his exemplary leadership and worthy contributions to the development of education, his Imperial Majesty was conferred with honorary doctoral degree of laws, LLD honorary causa. In recognition of his selfless and qualitative service to Nigeria, he was also honored with the revered national honor of the commander of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Kabi Isu was a member of Yoruba Tennis Club. He played long tennis, squash racket, and billiards, and was very active in community development activities and farming. He is well-traveled and has attended various international conferences in the United Kingdom, Jamaica, Austria, India, among other countries. Or by Dr. Folagbadi David Victor Olatero Olabegi, the third CFR, lived a fulfilled life and impacted on so many lives in and outside our kingdom before he proceeded to join his ascensors on 17 April 2019 at the, the hardly age of 77. I crave the indulgence of the right honorable speaker and this honorable house to observe a mini silence in his honor, or the, in honor of this illustrious son and king of our kingdom a pragmatic Nigerian elder statesman, a lover and practitioner of peace, and a lawyer of high repute who has contributed so much to the legal profession and the country at the same time upholding the rich cultural heritage of Nigeria. I thank you, Professor. Oh, no. I'd like to join my voice to Honorable uh, Ayori this presentation. Oba, the late Olowo, was a bridge builder. He ascended through when there was crisis in Olowo. And based on his uh, sagacity, based on his understanding of his people, there was absolute peace during his reign. He is a man that is diligently upright. A man that is outstanding in performance. He was very outstanding in performance. He died as a man common, commonly regarded and referred to as a uh, great motivator. In fact, he, 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 he made sure there was peace in the world. He was a great man. He died and he died a royal death. And the people of our world, they are the people of all those things. We are going to miss him greatly. We now, uh, on behalf of the good people I, of my constituency, I say, I now say, I do. That is. Honorable hmm? Arabo. I represent Confederal Constituency. I rise to pay tribute to um, His Royal Majesty, Olateru Olagwe, from the point of view of the fact that he taught us in the Nigerian Law School legal year 1985 to 1986. He was fondly called OO by the students. He taught us Nigerian civil procedure. I, my comment about him is basically on the fact that he was a teacher that knew his onions. And that is why those of us that passed through teachers like that can attest to the fact that he was worth his salt. I read about his death in the papers. And I just said, oh, oh, is gone. That's the much I can say about him. Those of us that uh, were, were in the Nigerian Law School for the period 85 to 86 knew that that was a teacher. On this basis, I offer my condolences to the kingdom of all and Nigeria at large. Thank you. This is my, my little comment. Thank you very much. David. Victor Olateru Olagwegi the third ascended the throne where there was Christ when there was Christ prolonged protracted crisis 
in the traditional council of forward. But because of his person, his character, his sagacity, he was able to bring peace to the traditional council in Owo, and also in Ondo State in general. He became the chairman of Council of Overs and preach and ensure peace in the state. My encounter with him was during the political uh, activism of Fondo State. He was able to manage the political um, activism in the state. At that time, he, when he became the chairman of Council of Over. That was the time Dr. Olusha Gumbimiko, Dr. Olusha Gumagagu, uh, every Nigerian knew how active politics was at that time. And he played a role that brought peace and ensure that the volatility of politics in those states that was enacted in 1983 did not repeat itself. We are going to miss him greatly in his uh, legal profession and also in political circle in Ondo State. I joined the people of my constituency to say that may he so rest in perfect peace and God to grant the family the fortitude to bear the loss. We're going to miss him greatly in Odo State, and we're going to miss him in Nigeria. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Adieu. Saudiere, I'm from Adamawa State. Um, I think uh, I must also pay tribute to the line of jury, for he taught me in the Nigerian law school, when law school was only in Lagos, in the year 1987-1988, um, Dr. O.O. is undoubtedly an intellectual think tank. He loves his uh, students, and he has a power, a skill in imparting knowledge. Uh, definitely very accommodating, very simple, and you hardly know that he's even a prince. Even at that time, we even, I don't even know that he was a prince because he is a very simple person. So I think uh, Nigerians, and particularly we, his disciples, we will certainly miss him. And uh, I joined my colleagues here in saying that um, his gentle soul rests in perfect peace. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, uh, but the one that interests me most is that the father of the late Olowo had about 117 children, of which more than 100 of them were university graduates or are university graduates. And it is on record too that the father, who was late Olowo himself, was deposed during the action group days, during the crisis of action group days. And the man was reinstalled back as the other war for was some 26, 27 years later to become the other. And I remember the then governor of Undo State, he said it in one of the interviews when he was to bring back the father of the late Olowo, that how do you treat a man who has trained about 100 children up to the university level. So that's a very powerful family in Yoruba land. And in fact, it's because of their education that people don't get to know them too much. That is one of the, in fact, if you go to all sectors of economy in Nigeria, you see the lateral lagbergis. Banks, judiciary, name it, they are there. So we are here celebrating the death of one of the icons of the most powerful family in Yoruba land. The Olater Olagbegis are very powerful. There are many, they are well trained. And uh, let me also add that uh, Owo is the seat of the, 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 that 
free education that everybody talk about in Nigeria. Or what is the seat of free education? Because the free education of our laws program of those days was actually put together by the late Michael Adekule Ajasi. So, as a Yoruba man, I have to say that we are proud that the Olatero Lagbegis have contributed to the growth of the Yoruba land by making sure that all the ginger they brought forth are not burden on the society. They are well-trained people, and uh, I will enjoy my colleagues and pay condolences with your people and the Yoruba race and Nigeria at large that that is a family that we can have a lot to pick from and a lot to learn from. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. The Olo of Oko, Owo. No wonder most of us, his students then, referred to him as the great Oo. So he was already great before he found greatness when he ascended to the throne of his ancestors. If we're anything today, most of us, of our generations and generations before us, it was because people like the late Imperial Majesty deposited part of their greatness in us. He will live in our lives forever and we will continue to reflect part of that greatness that he deposited in us. And to live in the hearts of people you've touched is not to die. These legacies we will sustain. He was no doubt a great mind. May his gentle soul raise in perfect peace. And our condolences go to his immediate family, the whole community, the legal community in Nigeria, and the good people, the government and the good people of Ondo State. May God bring comfort to all those that are mourning. Um, part of the prayers that um, as part of our tradition is uh, we should observe a minute's silence in honor of the departed let um, Olo of Owo Kingdom. May we please kindly rise to observe a minute's silence in his honor. <laughs> <laughs>